uh, Air Force would love that kid. I just sent a kid to Air Force for soccer. And so now you have the lower body piece, okay? It's pretty good. Now let's work on the upper body. So I want your torso to exit as well as possible. Rise two inches every step. You drive your torso well and rise gradual every step. Lower. Bend your back leg. Well. At my high school, Columbia River, I played quarterback and safety. And my fastest 40 time today was a 485 laser. Not bad. So you started medium and you stayed medium. Okay, the problem with that is when you get to this section right here. So like, let's say, let's call it 15 to 25 yards. It's going to be really weak. All right. Your tens are probably pretty good. It's probably the back end you're struggling with, right? Yeah. yeah. It's because you don't transition. You don't transition because you try to stay at the same height the whole time. So in order to run fast, you have to ride. Okay? It's just how fast you rise and how low do you start. So if you if you're starting out like where your body is elevated to here, you only have that much to rise, you're not gonna run very fast. Yeah. You have to be able to project your body as low as possible. Right? Have you have you done three point stance? Kind of, yeah. Do you do it at camps? Like, yeah. So if Air Force ha sees you run a 4-6 yeah. at a camp, you'll, you'll go to Air Force? Probably, yeah. Air Force, uh, Montana, as an athlete, uh, Weber State, a couple uh, smaller schools, Division Three, Division Two. I'm just open to playing football at the next level. Probably, yeah. All right, let me see your stance. We practice that. Just pause at the top. All right, stop. All right, come back. So how do you decide where to put your left foot? Uh, Ryan told me, uh, so front, like toe on the cleat on the line, yeah. and then ball the foot back to the heel. Okay, so I'll, I'll show you something simple way. Toes at the top, slide the right foot back, even with the left heel. Slide both of them back even. Drop your right knee to your left toe. I'll bring your hands in front. Okay, bring your shoulders over that line, even with your thumbs. And drop your head down, raise your hips up. That takes the hand away. That's a good position. So the number one goal when you exit is not to slap your upper body up after your hip, hip drive. Les was saying I can get down to a 4-6 range and that'd be awesome for me. And just dropping my time, just getting better, it's just my main goal. I'm not focused on a time or anything like that, it's just getting better constantly. Awesome. Suck your belly right now. Left hand away. Great. Not bad. It's so, e it's so easy. Number one thing high school kids miss is stance and start. If they can get the stance and start, and I say the start is the first two steps, then they can be successful running the 40. And most people are probably missing a tenth of a second in the beginning. The rest of it's just gonna come from like technical stuff and high velocity stuff. Not bad, that was actually really good. Okay, so now, when your hand, right hand is down, your left hand is up, I want you to rip the left hand through, okay, first. So that's your starter. Shoulders over the line, chin down. Do you want to lead? No, so you just want shoulder over the line. So, so I want his shoulder blade and his thumb to be in, the, in one line, and then just the head hang. And then you want to maintain where his shoulders are. So a lot of guys when they get to here, when they come up, they lean back. So I want his head to be in front of the body, but not necessarily lean. Bring the hip up a little higher. Okay, go back down. Step your right foot out. Coming back. Three inches to the side. Like that? Yeah, right there. Okay. And then let's side your right knee back to your end step. I want to see something. Okay, shoulders over. So before his hip is like this. So I'm trying to get him, his pelvis to be right there so he can push harder okay. up both feet. So like a lot of guys will line up and their feet would be narrow and be like this. And when they come out, they have to go here. So it's like, you want to get him square and then in front so he feels like he has some power in the back foot and then push him. Okay. You want my knee back on the Yeah, that, I think that's best for you. You want three steps? Yeah, just three. So, exit low, slight right. So it's one of those things. So, does he have the right range of motion? Not really. Is he closing it fast? Yes. And when he hits the ground, is he stiff? Kind of. So it's like, there's a, there's like a capacity strength part and reactivity, and then it's like, we have to get that range. So the way he was trying to get the range was by pushing and punching the leg. But what he needs to get the range from is pushing the ground. So he's getting more range now, more distance, because he's hitting the ground and pushing it better than 
if he reaches out in front and tries to punch. It's like how do you how do you take all the things he's doing wrong and put it into small categories and then fix those things? You're close. Let's let's do one more. Exit well, and then I want you to rise every step. So you try to, you try to stay right here the whole time. You need to come here and start to rise. If you don't have rise, you're never gonna get velocity. That's pretty good. You feel it? The biggest thing you're gonna struggle at is the middle because you wanna stay low. You have to allow yourself to rise to try to get hip height. Like the more hip height you have, the bigger the struggle will be. What's one thing you think I can work on that? Like how? It's a feeling thing, unfortunately. You know, working with Ryan, having him video, having him, like, you video, you can start to see like, oh, you're just pressing down. And you see that foot land in front, and you know, it's probably because you're trying to stay too low. So like, when I'm running, I'm here, I have to start to rise. Because if I don't rise, my hips won't be tall enough to be able to get the ground under me and be like, reactive on contact. So it's really just a working with coach and videoing and feeling it and uh, practicing reps of like, you know, 20 yards or so and just working that transition. Like, I'll give you the quick concept. So it's projection. Projections like go forward, okay? Then you have rise. Rise is like gradually rise. And then after rise, we call it pressure. So maintain pressure down. So a lot of guys aren't like hitting the ground hard enough. When they run the back end, they just try to tap and be wet on their feet. But that's the worst thing you can do. You have to be super aggressive. So I'm not really worried about the aggression part. It's more about your rise. And I think if you rise the right way, you'll get to the point where you're just, you run hard anyway. Like you'll be good at the back end if you get that middle piece. I see in love and she been over once. It's not like I know no for months.